The underwater world of the Cayman Islands is well known as one of the best places to scuba dive in the world. But did you know there is exceptional beauty above the water too? You'll need to travel to the eastern central part of the island to a place that royalty officially opened, Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park. Colorful gardens, nature trails, and more. The park began uh, in, as a volunteer effort in 1992, and in 1994, the Queen Elizabeth II uh, came to the park, and she officially opened the park. And at that point, it was just the nat nature trail, and that's an eight-tenth of a mile walk through the native woodland. Uh, since that time, we've developed a series of gardens, which include the Floral Color Garden, which is a series of gardens based on color, and it's a two and a half acre garden, and you start in pink and you work your way through the different colors. So you have a red garden, a yellow garden, a white, uh, purple, uh, blue, and lavender, and orange. Uh, we develop the Heritage Garden, which is uh, an ethnobotanic collection of plants. These are the plants that have traditional uses in the Cayman Islands, either for food, fiber, uh, or ornament. And we have an old Caymanian house that we've restored. It has a traditional sand garden and the ornamental plants around it. Pedro Castle is the oldest building on the island. Now a museum set in a heritage park, it provides an interesting and colorful view of Cayman's past. William Eden of Wiltshire, England, originally built the house in 1780. He brought nine slaves with him, and it was they who built the colonial-style home. In spite of extensive fires and several devastating hurricanes, much of the original stone walls remain. It was from these ruins, old photos, and historical accounts of the building that the house was rebuilt into the structure you see today. On the first floor is the formal dining room, surrounded by deep verandas. Apart from formal dinners, business meetings would have been held here. It's due to one such meeting that this house is known today as the birthplace of democracy in the Cayman Islands. If you're a scuba diver, you already know how good the diving is here. To become certified, you need to be at least 12 years old. So what about the little ones? Well, a program called SASI was started right here for children four years and older. Spit in it. Now you need to spit a lot more, mate. Spit. The program is a very simple one uh, to, to learn. Uh, it's uh, aimed at children around about four through seven or eight. Um, it can be used for ad adults as well that are unable to scuba dive, but uh, it's aimed at those four to seven or eight year olds. And basically it's real, real simple. They just need a pool or some shallow water or some ocean um, and the sassy outfit uh, at about five minutes of instruction and then down they go, uh, face down in the water as though they were snorkeling, except they are supplied this time by a, a scuba regulator and a supplied air on the, on the back. It's a real novel idea and it, it, I think it goes a long way in promoting scuba diving as a, uh, an optional sport uh, later on in life because here the kids are getting to experience it a little bit. Uh, Mum and Dad, they can actually watch underwater as well so they can kind of be involved as a family and hopefully it'll peg their interest and then when they do get a little older to learn to scuba dive it'll be something that's set in their memory. You've got a, a, a tailor-made uh, scuba vest uh, for them and a tiny little uh, air tank, whereas uh, the average air tank probably weighs about 30, 35 pounds. Uh, you'll find that the little one that the kids have got is probably only about four or five. So that straps on and it's got a, uh, a small regulator, the same as the adults use, except scaled down for kids. And they pop those on and away they go. It's really is that simple. The turtle farm is home to 16,000 turtles, mainly green sea turtles. The turtle is the national symbol of the Cayman Islands, and this farm raises and releases hundreds of them back into the ocean each year. The breeding herd of 336 turtles, some of them more than 50 years old, are kept in a large deep pool at the center of the farm. Fresh seawater is constantly pumped into this pool, which has its own sandy beach for females to lay their eggs. You're unlikely to ever have a better opportunity of watching turtles, unless you visit the touch tanks, where you're allowed to touch the smaller ones or even pick up some of these beautiful creatures. 
so stop by the turtle farm for an hour or so. It may be one of the more interesting visits you'll make. And then go to hell. Why not? It's right next door. Hell is a fun-filled tourist trap. All this to see jagged rocks. So whatever your interest, Grand Cayman is sure to offer you something fun and interesting. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.